Hey guys, here with some quick guerrilla style filming. Uh, not really set up, but I'm just going to make a quick video about this uh, custom Jack Burton figure that I made. Big Trouble in Little China. So the tall figure there is the sideshow version that came out a few years back, you know, fairly recently, I think. Uh, but this little one, uh, I made that maybe seven or eight years ago back before there really were any Jack Burton figures available, at least that I could find. So I just thought I'd make just a real short little video here. Uh, kind of showing what I came up with. Let me move this light. I did bring a light over here. Okay, we're gonna light you up here, Jack. You know what Jack Burton always says. So, what we got here is uh, what I buy. I think it was, uh, I started with the WWE or F, some wrestling figure that I think it was a Christian. I don't know, that might have been his name. I, I didn't really collect those, so I don't know. But it was a bare chested, spandex pants wearing guy. And I started with that and I bought some epoxy sculpt and some styrene plastic, which is just like a flat sheet of plastic that you can cut out and glue together and do stuff with. And Went to town on this guy. Oh, sorry, this camera's shaky. So, I am not a professional, obviously, and <laughs> as you can see, I uh, didn't quite. I tried. I did not quite get the likeness of Kurt Russell down, but this was like my first time ever trying to sculpt a face and hair. So, you know, it's not quite Kurt Russell, but, you know, if you stand about 12 feet away and squint your eyes, maybe. It's not too bad. Uh, first time sculpting hair. I tried to get his little mullet down. Yeah, it didn't come out too bad, right? Tried to get his little 5 o'clock shadow and his big chin, whatever. I know, it's not Kurt, but I tried. Uh, so, his shirt. That is epoxy sculpt. Like I said, the original figure was just bare chested, so I sculpted on his tank top with this uh, epoxy sculpt. And as far as his, as his famous Fu Manchu shirt, I drew on the image with like a pen, <laughs> maybe like a, I don't know if it was a big pen, but uh, just like a writing pen. I drew it on, colored it in, I think mostly with colored pencils, and uh, it worked. And then I believe I sprayed it. Did I spray it? No, I didn't even spray a, a top coat on it. I think I just left it. So that's just colored pencil and ink pen. And then uh, one of the fun things was I... I did not take this gun from another figure. I made this Tech 9 pistol from scratch. My camera, dang it, camera, focus. Made this gun from scratch. I so the figure came with a fisted, a closed fisted hand. I took an X-Acto knife, cut the fist open, and I uh, took styrene plastic and cut that out. And drew it in the shape of a Tech 9. Cut it out wedged that sucker in his hand after I warmed it up and then I sculpted on the rest of the details. So this little gun is just hand sculpted using epoxy sculpt. Gosh dang it. Focus. Same with the knife. So I tried to get his uh, his little knife. I sculpted that out of uh, plastic and epoxy sculpt. Same with his watch. That is just epoxy sculpt. Sculpted it on, painted it carefully. Uh, similar with his pants. I tried to get like a faded blue jean effect. I don't know how well that worked out, but originally the figure was just wearing spandex, so it didn't have you know, I tried to get some like belt loops and snaps and whatnot. Put some pockets on the back, but that didn't, it's a little soft looking, right? So at this point when I was doing this, I didn't really, you know, it's very inexperienced, still fairly inexperienced, but really didn't know much of what I was doing. Put on all these little snaps on his boots. The figure already had boots on, but I actually sculpted them to make them larger boots. So I sculpted on a top portion to make them a little higher up put on the little snaps and painted everything up, obviously. And yeah, 
That's what I came up with. Let's put him in there. Jack Burton. Also got this little guy. Picked up uh, Lightning here. Uh, I forget what the name of that toy line. Is it Bandai? I don't know. But I picked him up pretty cheap and neat little figure. He didn't have much for paint details, so I did a wash on his hat, all the brown and, and stuff that you see in the seams. That's added. I also panel lined like his chest armor to bring out the detail. Painted his little knife sheath, and uh, that was about it. Anyway. Just thought I'd show that. I know it's nothing special, but just making some funny little videos, some quick videos. Also, let's see, let's give them a different color. Green. Let's turn this off. <laughs> that kind of washes out, doesn't it? I like these LEDs. You can change colors and give them some different looks when displaying. It's kind of fun. Not sure what color works best there. Anyway, nothing too special. Jack Burton signing off.